Brexit Secretary David Davis has been accused of misleading Parliament after admitting the British government has made no formal assessment of the likely impact of EU withdrawal on different sectors of the UK economy. Mr Davis told the House of Commons exiting the EU committee that the usefulness of an assessment of this kind would be near zero because of the scale of change which Brexit is likely to cause. Leaving the EU will provoke a paradigm change in the UK economy on a similar order of magnitude to the financial crash of 2008, making economic forecast models unlikely to be informative, he told MPs. Mr Davis was appearing before the committee to defend his failure to deliver the 58 impact assessments demanded by a parliamentary motion last month, handing over instead 850 pages of heavily edited sectoral analyses setting out detail about the current position of different parts of the economy. The Brexit secretary told MPs as early as last December that his department was in the midst of carrying out about 57 sets of analyses on different parts of the economy. And in October, he told the Brexit committee that Prime Minister Theresa May had read summary outcomes of impact assessments, which he said went into excruciating detail. But, on Wednesday he told the committee that no systematic impact assessments had in fact been carried out. Pressed by committee chairman Hilary Benn whether any impact assessment had been conducted of the implications of Brexit for the automotive, aerospace or financial services sectors, Mr Davis said no to each before cutting the Labour MP short, saying, I think the answer will be no to all of them. Instead, he said, officials will at some stage during the forthcoming second phase of Brexit negotiations, dealing with trade, conduct work to quantify the effects of different possible outcomes, such as a free trade agreement with the EU are moving to World Trade Organization rules. And he told Mr Ben there was no formal quantitative assessment undertaken of the likely impact of leaving the customs union before the government committed itself to the step. There was a judgment made on qualitative things, not a quantitative one, he said. David Davis was questioned about positive outcomes of Brexit by Irish news political correspondent John Manley in September 2016. Mr Ben described the decision not to conduct impact assessment as rather strange when ministers were hoping within weeks to enter into a fundamental renegotiation of Britain's trade relations with the rest of Europe. And he said it was quite extraordinary that no assessment was made of the impact of leaving the customs union given the momentous nature of that decision. You have said there are no impact assessments, said Mr Ben. You were hoping that, at the October European Council, the door would be open to phase two of the negotiations, where the question would be asked what does the UK government want? Are you actually telling us that the government hadn't at that point and still HASNT undertaken the assessment? Mr Davis told the committee you don't need to do a formal impact assessment to understand that, if there is a regulatory hurdle between your producers and a market, there will be an impact. It will have an effect, the assessment of that effect is not as straightforward as people imagine. I'm not a fan of economic models because they have all proven wrong. When you have a paradigm change as happened in 2008 with the financial crisis all the models were wrong. The Queen famously asked why did we not know? Similarly, what? We are dealing with here in every outcome whether it is a free trade agreement, whether it is a WTO outcome or whether it is something between that on the spectrum it is a paradigm change. We know not the size but the order of magnitude of the impact. Mr Davis was last week accused by some MPs of contempt of Parliament, after it emerged that the information handed over to the committee by his department for exiting the EU had been edited. But he told the committee he had tried to provide the closest we could to what the House of Commons had demanded, subject to his responsibility not to release information which was commercially sensitive it could undermine the UK's negotiating position. Mr Davis' admission that no sectoral impact assessments have been made provoked outrage among opposition MPs. A Labour member of the Brexit Committee, Seema Milhotra, described the failure to make assessments as a dereliction of duty. And Liberal Democrat Committee member Wera Hobhouse said it is unbelievable that these long-trumpeted impact assessments don't even exist, meaning the government has no idea what their Brexit plans will do to the country. Ministers must now urgently undertake these impact assessments and ensure people are given the facts. Whether it's through incompetence or insincerity, David Davis has been misleading Parliament from the start. Labour trade spokesman Bill Esterson asked did he know that the impact assessments DIDNT exist when 
He said they did. It was either incredibly incompetent or incredibly dishonest. Either way, how is Davis still in his job? Scottish National Party MP Joanna Cherry said Mr Davis. Evidence appeared to directly contradict what he and other UK government ministers have previously told Commons committees, adding this is pretty serious. The General Secretary of the GMB Union, Tim Roach, said ministers had either been leading us up the garden path if they're playing fast and loose with people's livelihoods, communities and the economy. It's unforgivable recklessness. Lib. The leader Sir Vince Cable described the decision to commit the UK to leaving the customs union without a formal assessment of its impact as gross negligence. Labour MP David Lammy said it is time to put David Davis in the Tower of London for contempt of Parliament. I will meet to him outside this hearing and walk him down the embankment myself. Green Party co-leader Caroline Lucas said this is beyond farcical. Davis is either grossly incompetent, or someone who struggles with the truth and treats MPs with contempt. Either way, he should be out of his job.